I'm Greg Nibbler and welcome to DT Daily. Coming up, a slight hiccup for the maker of a flying car, our guide to the best of summer tech, and who just made the coolest drone ever? NASA, of course. We've been keeping a close eye on Aeromobile, the Slovakian maker of what is probably the most exciting flying car you can't buy yet, and now we've learned there's been a slight hiccup. During flight testing of the 3.0 prototype last week, the plane apparently went into a spin and crashed. But because the flying car is equipped with a ballistic parachute like this one, it was a pretty soft landing and pilot Stefan Klein was able to walk away uninjured. Aeromobile says they're looking into what happened and refinement on the flying machine will continue. And if we ever buy one, you know we're ticking the box for the parachute option. Summer is almost here and we've rounded up some of the best tech you'll need for the beach, mountains, or wherever you go to soak up some sun and fun. You're gonna need some tunes, so check out the Aton solar-powered Bluetooth speaker or the smaller Mighty speaker, which is apparently also toilet-proof. The coolest cooler should be out in time for summer and you've got it made in the shade with this sweet beach tent, or as we call it, the makeout tent. If you're a swimmer or diver and can't leave the tunes behind, check out WaterFi's waterproofed iPod shuffle and waterproof earbuds, and have a great summer. Who has the coolest job in the world? Probably these guys over at NASA's Langley Research Center. Check out their latest creation, the GL-10, a big tilt-wing drone with 10 engines that takes off like a helicopter and flies like an airplane. Sure, it may be a close cousin to the full-size V-22 Osprey, but this aircraft tilts the whole wing, not just the engines. Plus, it has two rotors on the tail for greater stabilization and lift. That gives it a lot of advantages over a tilt rotor plane like the Osprey, and NASA says they would like to scale up the GL-10 so that it can carry four people. Otherwise, as a drone, it could also be used for package delivery and, of course, battlefield duties. But mostly, it's just a really innovative drone we'd love to try flying. Maybe someday. That's DT Daily for today. Thanks for watching.